Put out that fire, man. Two fires put out. Excellent. I believe they're mostly put out. No, they're still there. All right, everybody. Baron here, and welcome back to Bomber Crew. Now, sad news. First, sar is this? What is F Sergeant? Clifford McDonald, James Finley, Arthur Boyle, Marion Vega, Glenn Dinsey, and Julia Murphy. Rest in pepperonis. Let's get a little B-roll of that crash. Somber music. Sadness. <laughs> it's just terrible, man. It's terrible. What's going on? We lost everybody but one person. Let me show you our crew so far. Our crew is the one survivor. And I forgot. Jay Ritchie. Good old Jay Ritchie. Let's check out Jay Ritchie. Look at this. He was the, uh, I think this is the radio man and a mechanic. He's our most veteran crew member. Cold Cyan was saying that we need to upgrade our crew. Gunners get the armor. Engineer must be fast. We're gonna have to see what we've got here in terms of recruits. We're gonna have to start over, guys. It's sad. We've got one crew member, so we're gonna need everybody new. Now, we've got a mechanic here. Ooh, already tier two. I think that P. Tutty here can it has more oxygen, but this guy's already at level two. So I'm gonna recruit Miss, uh, Mr. Mrs. Linda McKay. Welcome to the crew, Linda. Step right up, you're probably gonna die, but you know what? You'll do for king and country after all. All right, so now we've got D. Murphy and Mary Craig. So it's like, do we want thermal? Ooh. Survival. What is this? Seven days at sea? Traits Diver. Hometown Southall. Mr. Murphy here seems to be a better pilot. L not as high skilled, but I think we want better survivability, right? Now we need our navigator. So this one is tier two. This one is tier two with better survivability traits. So, <laughs> Mr. Angle, welcome to the crew. All right, now we need two gunners in our bombardier. Our bombardier is also going to be doubling as our third gunner because they're going to be occupying the nose, right? So, armor of two, that could be very helpful. This guy seems pretty dang good. He's got a thermal of seven. I think, what is it, the higher the number the better or is it the lower the number the better? Susan McGregor, you're rubbish. Well, this is clear. We get more thermal and armor, plus greater survivability over the ocean. So we have to dip out over the ocean, Mr. Anthony Cheka. He was an Olympic swimmer, after all. All right, now we need our two gunners. These people were going for armor, and I don't know what else. Uh, Gerald Watson, a factory worker. Well, you've got no distinct qualities, Mr. Gerald, and I don't want you on my crew. Anthony Hunter, you've got some thermal and survival over the land, but Merritt- Merritt, come on! Alright, hopefully we get a- uh, well, we get a new option, so Mr. S Mrs. C. Hill. Well, you've got survivability, so we're gonna put you in action. Your crew is full, there is nobody to recruit. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Here's our crew, look at all these noobs. We've got one veteran in Mrs. J. Ritchie. Jennifer Ritchie, you fought the good fight. I'm proud of you. Ooh, pilot's cap mark three. Look at this. Eight survival in both cases, plus plus four armor. It doesn't help with thermal, but we're gonna equip that. All right, so our pilot, Mr. Murphy here, has gotten some pretty decent gear. Now McKay's gotta be fast. She is our mechanic after all. So right now we're gonna be crewing up this plane in this crew to be optimized, right? The gunners get armor, the engineer must be fast. This fingerless woolen gloves actually makes her faster. All right, we're gonna give her the service cap because it makes her faster. She's not gonna have very good survivability necessarily, but maybe that's not as crucial as saying the gunners and the pilot need it. <laughs> if you lose the pilot, you'll crash and you need gunners to defend yourself. So you know what, lady? You're just gonna have to do it. And we're gonna make you khaki. You're gonna pop out. There's no real attributes here, but it does help in your survivability. We're gonna give you basic khaki to allow me to see you better. We don't need any presets. You got your gloves, you got your khaki, and you got your service hat. Well guys, I gotta figure out what to name this thing. So this one's actually named Aces High. This is where we changed the name. Right now it's gonna be Aces High until you let me know what to call it, okay? because we gotta figure that out. We're gonna change its livery. All right, we're also gonna buy Engine Extinguishers Mark One, And you know what, it's time to send this baby 
which is yet to be named, guys, out into battle. So I'm going to be skipping a lot. We're going to be skipping a lot of things just to kind of get to the meaty parts. In the video, I'm going to be playing it and I'm going to enjoy it. Um, if any action happens, I will be showing it off. All right, so let's go over what you guys presented to me as tips, trips, tips, tricks, and pro tips, right? So Victor was saying use fire extinguishers on the engines. That's one of the reason that in, uh, the plane crashed in the last episode was we ran out, we lost two engines due to fires and thus the engines we did have, we were moving slower, we ran out of fuel and we crashed and I didn't emergency land before. Victor was also saying we need to emergency dive more, right? So Stefan was saying maybe buy some survival equipment. Taylor Moore was saying uh, and how to change the name. And then Teco Evi, lean and boost on fuel are life savers and kind of methods to do that. So we are going to be trying that out. Oh, this is awesome. We've discovered a whole host of V1 sites ready to launch at London. Don't let those rockets through. Yes, siri, Bob, we're going to be fighting doodle bugs. These things are awesome. I'm really hoping that we're going to see them. So look at this. Here's our skill sets. You can see that Richie here was the veteran. Man, I tell you what, Mr. Murphy, you've got a lot to learn, friend. All right, unfortunately, we've only got boost. So, McKay here, and also, we've also got a ventral turret. We're getting reports of an enemy ace pilot, Felix Feder, is active in the area. Navigation is difficult at this altitude. Fine, we can go ahead and drop to low altitude. I can't, I can't boost my fuel anyway. So let's get under this cloud cover here. Or maybe it's just the weather. We should be at low altitude. Reach low altitude, fantastic. All right, so here is our coastal city. Let's go ahead and check the map here. Wow. We really can't see anything right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna radio for recon. That should pop things up on the map. Okay, there is our objective off the right wing tip over there. It hasn't hasn't let us pick it up. There we go. Optional recon opportunity spotted. Nearby hazard located added to the map. What is the hazard? It could be flak, but I think that's where the target area is. So checker, go ahead and get on the bomb bay, and we're gonna set there i don't i'm not sure how far we are away but i'm feeling pretty good so here's the extinguisher if our engines catch on fire we need to drop that all right so 29 seconds let's go ahead oh i like that oh shoot bomber oh that's how that's how long they're gonna be firing the v1s are gonna be firing i'm not sure if we're gonna get there in time i do know i have some enemy planes to deal with Let's see if we can't see. There's the V1 flying right there. Oh my god, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and use... Oh, they don't have focus. All right, releasing... Now. Dude, that's pretty sweet. Do we have another one? I'm gonna go ahead and close the doors. We've got... What? What's the issue? Medic. Repairman. Not medic. Is there... Okay, there's what? Destroy V1 launch sites? Jeez. That's a lot of freaking V1s, man. Running low on ammo? Who's running low on ammo? Go ahead and grab yourself some then. And you know what? You go ahead and grab yourself some as well. All right, how soon till we're at the objective? Okay, let's go ahead and open the doors. It's gonna be tough. There's the V1 launch. Did I release those? Yes, I did. Fantastic. All right, we've got one more. We're going to go ahead and close the door so we move a little bit faster. A lot of minutes. Starting bombing run. Good. Shooting hunter. Repair has been completed. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and lock these bad boys. And this mission, they're medium difficulty. These are some of the first medium difficulty missions, even though it seems like we're kind of starting fresh here. I went easy on you this time. All right, we're going to be able to hit this before. And then we've got enemy planes over there. There's our photo opportunity. So this should be it for stopping the doodle bugs. Oh, maybe not. Close the doors. We've got one last bomb section, so. All right, let's go ahead and lock this guy in. Ooh, this is the ace. Felix Feta. And I've got no focus on any of my gunners. Oh, we're not gonna get this one firing, but at least we're gonna get to see it. Look at the V1, the buzz bomb, baby. All right, get ready to release and. Let's close these doors. Let's get on out of dodge. All right, Felix, what do you got for me? All right, we're out of ammo. We've got a we've got a guy down. McKay, go ahead and grab the medical kit. Wait, wait, wait. What am I? 
who is doing what? Okay, they're healing. Yeah, we've got no gunners up right now. All right, McKay, I want you up there. McKay, let's go ahead and get you... Let's get you on the ventral turret. No focus abilities, so Felix, I don't think we're going to be able to get him this time. All right, let's go ahead. You are forcing my hand. Stop making me shoot you. All right, now this... Okay, so who's going to repair that? I'm repairing hydraulics right now. I wish... Should we do... I don't think I have the ability to do an emergency dive. Actually... Yeah, plus, it's dangerous to do it right now. What is all this? All right, so fire extinguish, baby. Did you do that? Excellent. These missions are already harder, and it's interesting. We destroyed the V1 launcher sites. Very cool historical thing, right? We, we've hunted U-boats, but now V1 rockets? That's freaking awesome, man. This could be rough. I'm hoping we don't lose any crew members. I don't think we should. Yeah. Luckily, no crew members were lost in the landing of this vehicle, everybody. All right, mission results. What did we get? Hopefully, ooh, 1874 Doodlebug Blitz. Felix Fetter is still out there. Ooh, if we kill him, we get $3,000. We had very basic guns. We didn't have the focus ability. It was, we were hard pressed to be able to get that. Now, I'm wondering how our mechanic progressed. You should have gotten some decent experience. I'm hoping that is kind of shown off in these statistics. Yep, we got to level three. Lean. Oh, we got lean fuel. This is perfect. Okay. And then you also got lean. Jennifer Ritchie could actually be working as the repair person, but I guess we've got two. So we got to remember that our radio is our backup repair. Emergency dive. That's great. Lean, lean. And we learned focus for two of our gunners. This is great. So our bombardier who's in the front is learning a second ability. We're going to make him a gunner. Because I feel like the nose is a pretty important gun to be using. We also upgraded some new things for the plane. So we're gonna install the better guns on the upper turret. So hopefully with focus and that, we'll be able to do a little bit better. We opened extinguishers. Extinguishers Mark II. Upgraded engine extinguishers allow high, have higher capacity to allow them to put out more fires. That's good. But we're over the weight limit, so we're gonna have to probably, ooh, we got some new livery here in ooh salmon goodness let's do that let's try that for once all right so our port outer engine was actually standard engine mark ii so we're gonna do that over here it'll give us a little more weight so we can further upgrade it in the future let's go pick our next mission oh my a critical mission operation hydra okay tonight we strike at the heart of the enemy's vengeance weapon production aka like v1 and v2 rockets all liquid oxygen plants at the facility must be destroyed or we'll be going back tomorrow night. This reign of terror must be stopped. There's no enemy ace in the area. It's medium duration, medium risk. We can do boosted fuel uh, and lean fuel as well. Completion reward and safe return bonus. This is one of those things though that I'm worried. Like look how far that is in distance. We're basically going over in Germany, just south of Denmark. Whereas these are just right across the channel in France. All right, so we're gonna do this, the ammo dump at Bruges, and then that'll lower the enemy damage for the next two missions, including our one over there. We're operating at lean fuel here. Now it is a power up and a boost, reach mid altitude. So there we go. Let's go ahead and see where, uh, I guess that's gonna be difficult, right? So let's go ahead and radio for recon. I think the clouds up here make it difficult to navigate. Enemy fighters spotted on radar, where? There they are. Three coming out high. The mission targets have been spotted. Let's see if we can't find them. Get them, boys. No visibility for navigation at this altitude. Fine, we'll drop to low. All right, there's the ammo storage. Let's get down there. Open the doors. And I think we should be on regular fuel usage now. There's a lot of flak around here. All right, we're going for a sneaky photo here. And then we're getting out of here. There's a lot of enemy fighters. All right, now it's time to return to base. Let's get the heck out of here, boys. Now we got to get our checker here into the nose gun. And how are you doing? Focus. We're going to use the focus on all of our gunners here. Oh my god, what was that? That was an enemy plane getting knocked out. Fantastic. All right, let's start spotting these enemies. Good lord, there's a lot of them. 
Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Oh my god, oh my god. Look at this! There's like a freaking whole squadron up here. Oh my god, look at this! We're freaking overwhelmed here. Luckily, these bat guys... Alright, do we have focus abilities? Yes, we do. We're gonna use them to keep us alive here. We gotta repair the engine. Or is that the fuel tank? I believe that's the fuel tank, actually, that we've gotta repair. As long as we don't lose any landing gear. I think most of the enemy fighters are pulling off. You can see that we just don't have... It doesn't seem like we have the firepower to put down enemy fighters yet. And for the most part, I, I felt like that in the old campaign as well. Despite using focus and upgrades. Like, I can't manually control them or pick, I don't think, which individual ones I want. Alright, so let's get you back inside. Let's get you on this one here. The ventral turret. Mac A. The right engine is heated up here. But I think we're pretty good. Are we going to show the landing? There's the landing. Coming in for a landing. Lucky number eight. Now, i am boosted the engine so you can see that little glowing. I did that to see... I hope... Oh my god. Is that going to affect our landing? That was interesting. We kind of came in at this weird angle. But we landed fine. I did that to see if that couldn't help boost the XP, right? I figured the more tasks that the crew does... The more statistics, you know, they will have the more stats. The more stats, the more XP, right? We'll see. So we return to base, we got the ammo dump, and we got the optional recon photo. In those early missions, I highly advise doing the optional recon, especially in a low risk mission. That gets us a lot more money. Let's see. Linda McKay is definitely gonna Eddie Nagel. We've got a few people that are gonna level up, I'm fairly certain, if not everybody. Do we get to level four? No, we did not, but we did get custom heading. That's fantastic because then that allows me to like manually dodge flak installations. And auto tag? Oh, this is the one I've been waiting for. Thank goodness Richie's Jennifer, Mrs. Richie survived here. So here's the thing. We've got a long mission ahead of us. I'll show you the mission. This is one of the, like, look how the, what? Ah, blue means the enemy ace, I think, or it's a medium bonus. All right, Operation Hydra, look at the distance, right? I'm wondering if we can't upgrade our fuel tanks. So it looks like we need 4,000 research. We're at 3,225 in order to up upgrade this, provide fuel to the engines. I'm a, like, we need this. We desperately need that. We've also got the banana here. All right, what I'm doing this time is I'm using our uh, repairman here as our bombardier to hopefully allow, look at this, because we've got, we've got the enemy ace up here. All right, let's go to the bombardier. Open the doors. Oh my God. This is close, but I think we should be fine. We've got big bombs here. Look at this. So this is a giant installation we've got a release on. Got it. We're gonna get this photo opportunity. Let's close the doors. Oh my God, we've got a, I've got an auto tag. Who can do that? Auto tag. Thank you for that. Good lord, that, that skill is huge for someone like me. Alright, we've gotta take the photo. And then we're just getting out of here. We auto-tagged everybody. My god, the flak, this is nuts. We gotta get out. We gotta get out of here! We gotta get out! Alright, now let's get back to base. Boost, get us out of here, man. We've got repair issues. Get your ammunition. Alright, McKay, you boosted as much as possible. Okay, we've got a fire too. Let's see. Pilot, get to medium altitude. We're gonna have to emergency dive. We're gonna see what we got here. Hopefully those extinguishers keep this thing. All right, and then once I can, emergency dive. Put out that fire, man. Two fires, put out, excellent. I believe they're mostly put out. No, they're still there. Oh my God. Maybe we didn't get to medium, proper medium altitude, but I think we fixed one. McKay, hurry up, man. All right, Hunter, get your ammo. All right, McKay, get the fire extinguisher. And put out that fire. Oh my God, we're gonna have to auto tag again, hopefully. Nose gunners out of ammunition, things are getting hectic. Hill here is pretty weak. Where, what, are we at medium altitude? Get to low altitude, man. Uh, Mackie, 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 Mackie. You're gonna have to repair again, friends. Hill, you're gonna probably need to get some Let's get you focused up. 
Oh my god, Hunter just got absolutely smacked. Hunter, get to the med bay. This is bad, this is bad. Out of ammunition, get the ammunition. All right, we've got another fire. Um, are we, can we do an emergency dive? I'm not sure what altitude we're at. Oh my god, look, that's terrifying. We put out the fire though. All right, we've got a man down, we got a man down. Medic! No, Murphy, what? Pilot the freaking plane, Murph! Oh my god, that is not, not what I meant to do. That could have been disastrous. Heal that man. Hunter, you gotta get up to your gunner. This is just not good. All right, we've made it across the English Channel. Goodness. Let's go ahead and get some ammunition for you. All right, gunner. Sometimes it's just tricky to get these guys. Let's go ahead and fix the hydraulics. And how are we on fuel? I can't tell. Well, no, I want you to, you know what, checker, you check. Checker. Checker's checking the fuel. We've got enough fuel to make it home. I just realized something that you have to be in the fuel station to extinguish the fires. It's not automatic, it's manual. <laughs> that would make sense. Everything else in the game is manual pretty much. Why, why have I missed that? Man, I tell you what, guys, if you ever see something like that, feel free to let me know, hey, Baron, there's that thing you should do right there. I reckon you should do that there, dang, okay? All right, we're going on a quick sub hunt mission and good Lord, my gunners are tearing apart these planes. Are these the Messerschmitts? I think that was a Messerschmitt. Okay, so let's go ahead and check her. You're the local, you're the guy. You're the guy, dude. You just do your thing. Let's go ahead and open the doors. Oh my God, that was freaking hectically close. Did we get it? We got one out of three. Where's the other one? It looks like a really cool little factory here. We're gonna take, all right, now we gotta turn back around and we're gonna get this submarine. And then I'm on auto tag because I think that what's going on right now, yeah, let's get a recon too. I'm gonna open the doors. Oh yeah, we gotta make sure to select the bombs. That could have been bad. Is that U-boat escaping? The U-boat escaped. Why would you escape like that? We gotta go back, so let's go ahead and reselect the bombardier, close the bomb bay doors. Did you, yeah, okay, you got your ammunition. Mackay, let's go ahead. Uh, we're good on fuel. We've got, this U-boat has been found. Fortunately for us, he's firing at us. He should be diving as fast as possible. Maybe I need to boost in cases like this. Oh my God, yes, that's exactly what I need to do because he just dove again. All right, here we go. This is the third attempt. Please don't dive on me. Please do not dive on me. Oh, thank goodness. And close the doors and get out of here. All right, a nice, quick, successful mission to get, uh, to upgrade our fuel. Yes, we got the 4,000. Thank goodness that's what we were going for. The optional recon photos obviously pushed us over the top. Now let's see, do we have a better crew here? We're about at the same point, I think, now. Around fours and fives that our crew was in the la uh, our last plane's crew was. Jennifer Ritchie here, obviously. Ooh, mid-altitude photo, that's good. That can keep us out of flak range. Yes, fuel tank Mark II. Also, we've got gun turrets, the Mark III's. And then we've got Mark II in ammo feeds here. So first things first, upgrade this bad boy with them fuel tanks. We've gotta upgrade our weight too. We're doing this, we're going ham on this mission. We might wanna upgrade our survival stuff too, if we have leftover money because I just want to complete this mission so badly. What would be cool in this game is if, here we go. Let's go to the overview here. You see this airfield? What if we had multiple crews and different aircraft? Like right here was our main bomber. Maybe we had a secondary bomber, like the same Lancaster. Maybe we had a flying boat to go on like sub hunting missions, rescue missions, down pilots. Maybe to rescue even our own pilots that had to bail out or crash landed over the English Channel, right? That would be freaking cool. Maybe you could have a submarine crew too because the concepts are pretty similar. My imagination runs wild with this game and it would just be cool to kind of like be able to manage the war effort on a grander scale than just one crew. Like say you had a mission that you didn't want to use your elite crew on. It was an expendable crew maybe. You send them on a one way mission. You could do that. That would be freaking cool. We're gonna upgrade our, I, I don't know about this mission and I don't want to risk too many crew members. We're gonna get this and we're gonna get the pigeon. I'm not expecting everybody to kind of make it back. And actually, since we're going on a new mission, 
We're gonna have to do midnight blue. Let's go ahead and make this one stealthy looking. McKay is now our medic. All right, so now it is the critical mission, Operation Hydra. We've gotta take down the V1 and V2 rocket production facilities. Let's do it. All right, look at this. Our fuel remaining is actually going up because we're at medium altitude and using lean. Check this out. Reached me at altitude. We can't really navigate as well, but I think I have a general idea of, well, I did. A V2 is about to launch from Kirkshaven. Hurry and stop the blasting thing. Save your bombs for the primary objective. Try to shoot it down during launch. Sh what? Shoot down a V2? Uh, what, 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 what? How did you even do that? We're flying over the Netherlands here. V2 launch is imminent. Get your gunners to shoot it down. I need you to auto tag. All right, what is this? I can't really see it. Oh no, I'm not sure if we're gonna get that. Boost to it, boys. Gah. Shoot that V, V1, V2. <laughs> it's a V. Shoot it. Shoot the thing. Boys, there's nobody in the nose turret. We shoot the thing! You gotta be kidding me! I didn't intercept it, guys. I think I was just too far away. I don't really want to boost because that really drops fuel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this another one or is this the ammo? Open those freaking doors, boys! Oh my god, that was close. All right, this mission is getting hectic. We did some auto tagging out of ammo, rear turrets out of ammo that I went up to medium altitude to try to avoid these, uh, the flak guns here. And I, I think we'll be able to do that. I think that was definitely a good returning with the ammo belt. Well, get that freaking ammo, son. Go ahead and, oh, you're already focused. Let's try to use the fire extinguisher here. Did we put it out? We did put it out with our extinguishers. fan freaking tastic Good work, gentlemen. Good work. We're learning things. Drop back to low altitude. I think we've passed the flak more or less. Or just on the edge of it anyway. Oh, left engine. Freak. All right, we're gonna be releasing over this next one. Right next to it. This isn't good. We're having some serious issues. We got a BF-110 out here that's chewing us up. We got one gunner's down. I got Checker here. Richie, heal that man. Dude, this is this is pretty nasty. Look at that. Yes! Oh, there's a second one. I didn't even realize. All right, we are... Who is my mechanic? The front gun. This is, this is, so we didn't do it. We weren't able to destroy all the fuel because I dropped a bomb prematurely. We've got an engine issue. We've also got some power issue of sorts, but I guess that's what I'm repairing now. We're getting flack of source, man. You know what? Let's get up to medium altitude. I don't know where we are. Oh my God. Yeah, we got to get up to medium altitude. We're flying through the flak and we'll fly this way. Custom heading around the flak. And then I could see if I can't... Okay, who's dead? Who's dead? Again. Oh my god. What's that? How do I get him just bleeding out? We don't have another... There's no... There's no extra med kit. We're passing Munich, apparently. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm experiencing some kind of issue where I cannot see... Oh my god. We're freaking... Two engines are freaking gone. Oh my god. Everybody's dead. We've got no, we've got no medicine. We've got no repairmen. Luckily our pilot didn't die. Our navigator's dead. Radio man, you're gonna have to take the navigator position, I think. Goodness, what is this? It's just Messerschmitts. Freaking everybody's dying on me. All right, guys, we're going in for a landing. That mission was crazy. We missed the objective. We lost three crew members. A tier five repairman, a tier five navigator, and a tier four, or level four rather, gunner. 
that's just sad. Like, we, we only had one medical kit. So I'm not even sure we got much money or XP. That was not worth it with when you account for what we lost, right? This is really unfortunate. We gotta return to base. Oh, three crew members down. Like, that was the second most devastating mission we've had. Operation Hydra, failure. We returned to base, though. Returned, killed in action, killed in action, returned, killed in action. Oh, God, now we gotta recruit three new crew members, guys. This is crazy. We've, oh. We finally got focused, though, for this guy. Jeez. I swear, if we could have eight people, we'd be able to do every task. Not much of an issue. We're gonna have to go back to the drawing board here. We lost some good ones today, guys. All right, let me know what we should name the plane, what we should name the crew, how we should upgrade it, what we could, what we did wrong. This was clearly, we dropped a bomb. It was, it did tell me to save my bombs, and then it was like, here's the objective. And it's like, oh, maybe I should try to bomb it. It was a bad idea, guys. It was a bad idea. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. This one, this one hurts.